Hi. We've talked before about the problem of expectations. In fact, I once um, quoted one of my favorite expressions that expectations are future resentments. And I think that's generally true. And we have expectations about all kinds of things, unfortunately. But right now I'd like to talk about expectations that we have about partners whether it's a jogging partner or a life partner or a business partner, expectations can really damage the relationship and make it less productive. And that usually happens because we look to that partner for too many things. We expect a kind of completeness or perfection, really from all of our partners in every dimension of life. And that's unfortunate and it doesn't work very well and usually to some degree defeats you and your partner. So let's step back from that just a moment and say, okay, if we're not going to expect everything from one person, if we're not going to expect a business partner to be perfect on all fronts, we have to accept them as they are. And this particular business partner is very good at most things except administration. So we'll get somebody else to do the administrative work and let her go with what's really she's good at. That will be a good partnership. It works like that in many dimensions of life and often I am thought, uh, I think of uh, advice my mother once gave me, which was to say that you need a good toolbox of friends because not every friend can serve every need. That's true with partners. So be careful of expectations. Take people for what they're good at. And if they're not, find somebody who is. It doesn't mean you have to abandon the relationship or the partnership. It's just it will, a way of making it more complete.